okay. If you're watching this video, you might have got one of my astro portraits. And when you get one of my astro portraits, um, you're probably looking at it and saying, what am I looking at? So basically you're looking at a birth chart that I will do a portrait of. And to explain the elements of that chart and the way everything is set up, or the portrait, um, uh, I'm going to do this little video here for you to show you what, you know, basically what you're looking at when you're looking at a birth chart. So if you um, are here, and this is on a round earth model, and let's say you're standing right here on earth, there you are, on the, on the you know, uh, top of the earth there, uh, we're, we're be top of the earth for you, no matter where that is. Um, you're going to have overhead, uh, you know, what you're going to have is the uh, rest of this world here around you, the sky, the atmosphere, underneath the earth, and around the earth, around the earth like that. And so, we're going to make this line here, uh, the east, let's say, and then this line here ends up being the west. And if you look to the east, this is where the sun will rise, here, you know, and here's where the sun sets, here. And there's you, and this is underneath, this is where the sun shadow is in this part of the world. So when you're looking at a chart, uh, this is basically what you're looking at when you look at a chart. So when they cut up the chart, they cut the chart up in these quadrants of squares, and then over here we cut the chart, gets cut up into, you know, you know these are how we get come up with the houses. So in the birth chart, so we're going to put the three parts of the of each section has three parts. And let's say the sun rises over here. Let's say, for instance, you were born, I'm going to say here, let's say you were born at 12 noon. So your sun would be uh, here. So let's just put it right in here, sun glyph. And that's where your sun will be. And then say the moon at that stage was, um, let's say the moon was over here when you were born, just below, this, just below the uh, horizon here on the west. And uh, let's say if you're a Leo, uh, your sun sign would be in Leo right there. And then next to Leo we have Virgo. And it, it, the constellations always roll in this order. With Leo, Virgo, then Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and then we have Aries down here, and then Taurus, constellation of Taurus, and over here at the sunrise was coming up was the constellation of Gemini coming up when you were born, and then after Gemini we have Cancer. So when you were born, the sun was in Leo, and your moon was in Sag uh, Sagittarius. This is the horizon line here. Uh, underneath, you wouldn't have seen it, or you have set. Um, but then again, you might have other planets around that are, were in different parts. You might have had, you know, um, Scorpio right above your head, and that's where it would show up uh, on your chart right above your head with the sun, right in line with the sun in Leo. So when you look at your birth chart, you're looking at your where you would stand right on top of the earth, and then these are the sections. Now these become the houses, you know. 
and this becomes the uh, you know everything that's indicative here this is the um, first house second house third house is on the birth chart now and this is under the world under the earth where you're standing uh, fifth house sixth house seventh house eighth house ninth house tenth house eleventh house twelfth so you have the 12 houses, and this is this would be your birth chart, looking like. So if basically, graphically, if you're looking at your birth chart, you look at it as it would be if you were standing on the earth, and there, here you are looking at 12 noon, and that's where the sun was at 12 noon, and th this is what the planet was, Ju uh, Scorpio, excuse me, uh, Mars might be here, and let's say... You have uh, Venus there, and you know um, you can have uh, Mercury there, and it would be affecting you. You would see these these planets would be over in your view, and if you had um, you know Saturn down here and Jupiter down here, it'd be out of your view, it'd be on the other side of the world where you are. So, um, they'd still be affecting you because that's the, you know, uh, electromagnetics of these planets affecting you. On the day you were born, you inhale all of the blueprint of all this electromagnetic fields of all these planets coming at you in there and the constellations coming at you in different ways. So, when you look at your birth sign, you see your sun sign, which would be, in this case, Leo, your moon sign would be... Sagittarius, and then over here you'd have Taurus rising, and that's that's the, that's that's always the sign that constellation that's coming up uh, just over the horizon or it's just just below it's rising. This this here Gemini had already uh, ro risen, so it's above the horizon. But this would be considered a a Taurus rising, your rising sign. So you'd be a Sun, Moon, um, Taurus rising, and so when you look at the astral portrait that we paint paint for you, you'll see that these things, these elements, these constellations here, are all in the all in the places for your particular birth chart, and the planets would be, and then you can have a sort of graphical portrait of what it was like the day you were born, and that's the. the First video on explaining that much of what you're seeing when you look at an astral portrait. And there'll be another video that'll go a little more explanation on what we're going to do, uh, talk about more about what uh, each one of these glyphs here uh, mean that you're looking at um, and their, their significance. And the house that they're in has a significance. and the planets that activate those houses.